Hey folks, how you doing? Good evening. Hope you're well. It's the 8th of December, 8th day of Vlogmas. So that quick reminder again, between now and Christmas Day, I'm going to be uh, giving you a bit of an insight into my lifestyle and a tip every day. So yeah, what, what have we been doing today? Well, I've just been at work really. There's nothing exciting to tell you today. I've been keeping busy. Uh, of course, uh, I could perhaps talk about something else this evening, but I'll refrain from doing that. If, you've, if you're from the UK, you probably know what I'm thinking about right now, having just finished on the TV. Um, but yeah, um, before I do show you today's tip, which is all about uh, the humble bicycle pump, um, hills. There was a video a few few days back where I was talking about steep hills and paper boiling up them, you know, it swerving from one side to the other, that kind of thing. Probably going to touch, that, touch on that again a little bit later on. This month, because uh, I think there's quite a few things in there I wanted to say, which I uh, didn't cover. So uh, perhaps to do with something along those lines again, I think. Anyway, so yeah, in today's little vlogmas, I'm going to be talking about the humble bicycle pump. Now, I've just spent about 10, 11, 12 times trying to create a thumbnail to this. There's no perfect way of holding a bike pump to get it into a thumbnail. <laughs> so this is this is the one I own. It's a Topeak. Mini Morph G, and it's optimized for road. Um, I've not, I've only had this what since August. My last one, because eventually they all died after, uh, was also at two peak. I can't remember the particular model it was, but it was really good and it just failed me during the ride. So, uh, well, I better get a new one. So, uh, yeah. So, I think it was, the, I think it was like the second day of the Vlogmas. Um, I said you. You should make, always try and make sure you carry a bike pump with you whenever you're riding, as well as a good pair of tight levers and a spear and a tube or two. So, uh, so if you do opt for a bike pump, because you know, alternatively, you could go the CO2 canister and buy an inflator. That's no way of uh, getting tires inflated. I've never been down that road, not tried it. Um, so, you're probably asking, you know, if you don't own one already, you're looking to buy another one for Christmas. Uh, what kind of bike pump should or could uh, you take with you on a on a ride? And uh, also, how do you plan to carry it with you? Because it's hard to show you on this this on screen uh, how long it is. But I don't know. Look at it. It's the size of my head. <laughs> it's actually a very tall pump. So I'm going to talk about that as well. Uh, yeah. So I'll tell you what I'll do. If you watch the channel already, you know I do quite a lot of long, long distance rides and and uh, not having an effective bike pump is is not really an option for me. So, um, like I said before, I've not never tried CO two canisters. I've always relied on a humble pump, humble bike pump, and I've never gone tubeless either, which obviously kind of helps reduce the number of punches and things. Well, so that's the hope, isn't it? So uh, I've always gone for the mini pump options. Um, they um, well, no, not mini pump options. I started out by uh, buying mini pumps and things like that. You know, they kind of neatly fit in your back pocket. But soon found out the the reality is they're not very effective, really. Um, so after I, after I have a punch, I want to be able to get on and carry on as normal, which means really uh, getting as much pressure into the tyres as you possibly can. Um, with a mini pump, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, to get you know tire pressure really high, it's going to be difficult to uh, get it <laughs> just where you want to into the you know the manufacturer's recommended air pressure. So mini pump is not really uh, not really for it. So this particular one, I don't know if you can see how well you see on screen. You might be able to catch it there. This one has got a gauge on it, measures in bars as well as psi, whatever that is. <laughs> um, how are this useful? To, you know, it is useful to have that, but it's not necessary. For me, on long rides and things, I find it really, really useful. So it's actually quite nice. It's a bit of novelty to have a gauge after so many years not having one. Um, right, okay. So as I say, this is a this is a Topeak, but there, there are many other brands available. Um, again, this is the Topeak Mini Morph G Pump. It's fairly compact. It it uh, like I said before, it does pack a punch when it matters the most. Size uh, certainly doesn't matter. Size certainly uh, doesn't really matter so much when it comes to bike. Well, it does. 
Size really does matter when it comes to bike performance because the smaller ones are less effective. Um, you know, you pro- perhaps you rely on them a bit more when you're commuting uh, to and from work, where it's not necessarily too far. Uh, but you know, a mini bike pump, you know, uh, I, I, won't, I probably won't go there anymore. So uh, this giant thing, how 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 do I carry it? It's you know, it's quite it's quite big. I, I can't really show you on the you know properly how big it is, but it's uh, certainly not like a full frame. It's kind of not. It's not even half. It's probably like a third of the length. So uh, you know, I can't I can't carry this in the uh, in my back pocket because it's it's just too tall. So the only way to really carry it is on the bike somehow. And there's a number of ways of doing it. So depending on what kind of ride I'm on, um, in, in the past I've used like a frame bag or a stem bag. Usually though, uh, it's holding place on the top tube of the, of the bike using the what well what's called a velcro uh, voulet strap. It's kind of a variation on a well velcro velcro strap. And the one I've got, which I've used, you know, numerous times, uh, you, well, you've seen it numerous type of videos, is probably called Zeffel, Z-E-F-A-L, if you want to Google that. Uh, they come in pairs. Uh, one holds the head of the pump to, you know, towards the stem. And the second one holds it, uh, that's way on the bike, towards the middle. But, you, you know, you could put it on your saddle if you wanted to, that's way on the bike. But I always put mine up towards the side. Kind of one end of the cockpit area, then you know runs down the frame kind of thing. Um, it can be a little bit annoying taking it on and off the bike, but uh, to be absolutely honest, it's a small price to pay. A bike pump is not something you should be reaching out on for a regular basis. So I'm quite happy go spend a little bit more, make it a bit bigger, a little bit awkward to get on and off the bike, but because you shouldn't be using it all the time. Good evening, Robin. How how are you? Hope you're well. So yeah, that's it really. That's all I wanted to talk about as my kind of. A tip, really. Probably dragged on a little bit longer than I wanted to, but yeah, the humble humble bike pump. What what kind of bike pump do you own? What kind of brands are there? Have you got? There's quite a few brands out there, isn't there? Is Design. I'm sure that's quite a popular bike pump, but I've always gone for Topeak. Um, I'm just looking back at my notes. No, I can't think of any other manufacturers. Topeak, Design. I'm, I'm, just, I'm presuming there's quite a few companies do them. But I've always always lean towards uh, Toe Peak, and this is so this particular one. I'll just quickly show you. Like I say, it took about fifteen times to get the right f- thumbnail. So it comes up. It's got the tube on it, so it extends. It's got a little foot at the bottom here. Let's bring that down. So you put that on the ground. Of course, you run that into your tire. It locks into place there. Uh, and the handle comes out quite neatly as well. I'm trying to do it with keeping it in the screen all the time, but it's not so easy. So you, you put your, you just put your foot on there and push it in, and it, it gets a really good job. So yeah, if you if, you, if you're looking in the market for a bike pole, get make sure you get one with with the uh, a long you know a long uh, tube on it, so you can just it, it just it's so much easier. The, I, I love these ones. These are ones where you can uh, I can't think of the word. Um, because the ones you get, the, there's little mini pumps, there's just a hole at the bottom, and I've not found them very effective. But these ones are absolutely brilliant, anyway. You don't want to watch me put this away, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions or you want to comment down down below the video, what sort of bike pump you use, um, got your suggestions for future vlogmas videos? We're only on the 8th of December, and I tell you what, I'm really, really enjoying it actually. It's it's quite good fun doing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we've got so what, another two weeks to go, something like that. That takes us to 20 seconds, so just over two, two, and, a half, two and a half weeks. So, yeah. Um, right, what's coming up next on the channel? The 11th. What's the 11th? I think that's Saturday. My next video is all about my top 10 Audax rides. Or, well, the ones that I've taken part in in 2021. So uh, it's top five, actually, not top 10, top five. I've not been that busy this year. So looking forward to sharing that with you. And, uh, you know, hopefully you feel some inspiration for getting out there in 2022. I always look back on my old videos and uh, it really helps to inspire me. Of course, I like to watch other people's channels as well. Just recently, I was um, recommended in the comments of one of my previous videos to watch The Vegan Cyclist. I've dipped in and out of him, uh, his channel in the past, but, you know, it's... Really, 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 really cool for character, really. I'm, I love watching these videos and learning. F- There's always something to be learned from other people and things like that. Anyway, waffling now. I'm going to 
sit down, enjoy the rest of the evening. So again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.